Hi, I'm Alex Puccio and welcome to Rope Coaching YouTube channel. Today's episode is on me getting out of my comfort zone and kind of doing this uh, style that I used to be able to do really well, which is the competition style, um, which is like jumping, running jumps, coordination, slabs, trusting my feet on volumes. So I'm gonna challenge myself and do some of those new school styles that I used to be good at. Oh. My hips are so far away from the wall that go. Okay, for people that don't know who you are, what are you known for? Nowadays, I am known for doing hard boulder problems outside, uh, which is more like still burly, but like finger strength, um, can still be powerful, some dynamic movement, but it's more like power dynamic versus this like coordination, flicking your body. Uh, type of moves that you see in competitions. I used to do competitions, but even so, when I did do them, I had to train coordination moves a lot because it wasn't something that came natural or easy for me. So my typical climb would be something more like this white boulder over here. Um, raw power, strength, finger strength, kind of, you know, just using your muscles to get up the wall. Um, but, I do actually still like doing like competition style moves or things that I'm afraid of or scared of or gets me out of my comfort zone because movement is movement at the end of the day. And even though if it doesn't seem like it correlates exactly to outside climbing, it actually helps your repertoire of knowing how to just move your body. So um, I come to this gym when I'm here in Dallas and they set really comp style climbs and I absolutely love getting out of my comfort zone and testing and seeing what I can do on those competition style climbs that I'm not used to anymore. So should we do something that's in your, in inverted commas, wheelhouse, like this white, and then should we move on to some more compy contemporary style climbs? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna get on this white one to show you kind of what I'm naturally good at these days and what I practice more so. Um, and whites are the hardest one at this gym. And then black is the second hardest and red is the one uh, before that. So we'll get on things that are maybe like red and above in this episode, but um, you're gonna see me probably fall on some reds and probably flash some white boulders. Big first move. I can't reach. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Those aren't good holes. Whoa. Woo. There she is, the power pooch. Ooh. These are not very good. Oh, they're they're actually quite bad. How was it? It's kind of hard. The first move, um, if you're short, I think Robin could reach the starting holds. So I don't know if they intended on jumping to the not amazing pinches or if they wanted someone tall enough to stand start. Because if I go. That's cut for me doing it. <laughs> so Alex is right. I can actually reach this from the ground. But she went left hand to begin with. And I don't think I will because this one to me feels so much better. I'm going to try and bolt hole. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. So hard. Even those are so slopey. You just make it look easy. You could do it. Have I'm, another go. Let me I'm crush your, it. I'm your number one cheerleader. Take two. Let's try it again. Take two. Try hard. I need to come underneath it and then match and try and really stay in half. Keep the core tension as well. But it basically like prom promotes an open hand because the size of it. 
come on. Come on. Oh my no. God, I'm just greasing off. Yes, we are in Texas. Even though it's cold in these gyms, it's more humid than Colorado. Oh, I stubbed my toes so hard. <laughs> oh my God. So now I'm gonna take it down a notch from, or a couple notches from the white one I just did. That was powerful in my style. And I'm gonna get on this red one that is not known to be my current style. Um, it's more funky and more having to like feel your body. And the starting hold is actually underneath this big volume, which it's really hard to see. But yeah, so we're gonna see what happens. Cheeky foot. The first part was actually kind of weird. I definitely didn't want to use these other feet. Yeah, at least you don't have to fully rock over. <laughs> that was fun though. These moves have always been kind of weird for me, even back when I did World Cups. Like anything you had to be like pressing underneath. I don't know why, but still a little weird for me. What's next? Um, next. Well, is this really cool black one? So, I did do it the other day, and it did take me... 10? Maybe more than 10 tries, I don't know. It took me a long time to do this one move that you'll see is like coming around the corner. And I had to build up to having the confidence, and I just get in my head or I get scared or nervous. So, I kept, you have to swing your body, land on this volume and catch the jug. And this part was like in my head, and so, Finally, 10, 15 tries later, I decided to commit. I hit it and I barely grabbed it. And then I was like, oh, I can do it. And then I think I did it next try. And then I did it two or three more times after that. So today I hope to do it in less tries than it took me the first time. Start some two good jugs. Yep, the, the is in. What was the insecurity when you first tried it? Um, the insecurity is, it's kind of blind when you get this big kind of slopey jug. It's not good enough to just like stomp on it. And then your body, you have to propel it around, stomp on the volume and grab a jug. So this coordination move, but once I did it, it was easy enough where I could repeat it multiple times, so. Okay, let's do it. That was basically what my go was like before I did it. So, progress. When you, th when you do a climb like that and you fall, what are you thinking? Like, what do you need to do differently? A lot of times for me, and everyone has a reason why they're being stumped on a climb or a move. Um, for me, a lot of times, and this is for myself in the past as well, it was never because I wasn't strong enough. Um, my issue was always because I wasn't committing because of my head. So for me on this one, I didn't want to commit with the full swing through. So when I got over here, it's closer to the wall, so it would be an easier catch. Um, and I don't know, and part of it's like, oh, I'm just scared, like I'm gonna slip off the volume or I don't know, like I don't know the fear to me is irrational. And so I tell myself that every time. And you have to find what is stopping you and work through it, because it is different for every person. Come on. Woohoo! Yay! That is slippery, that hump. That is slippery. Yay. Second try. That's that. a lot better than before. 
Okay, so next climb. Oh, okay. So the next climb, Robin and I did not do it. The other day is a red. Um, this Talk red. Starting hold, finish hold, run and jump to the starting hold, which was the easy part for me. And then getting kind of lost, we would toe hook here. And then I was trying to like swing my body in an extended way, which I couldn't really swing, but basically plant the left foot to get left hand and wanted to do one of these. The one of these part didn't happen, so we're gonna try. Okay, all here right, we go. All right. You ready? Yeah. So we're back to our nemesis red climb from the other day, which again is like, I think B5 to seven. Um, this is, I think, maybe, maybe besides one other one, potentially the only one that I got on and did not do. So. Woo. Okay. This so, is the part. So here's the toe hook. And you're gonna pogo your arm and stomp. Oh, that's so bloody weird. So having that go, what's gonna change next go? What do you need to Honestly, do? Honestly, what's gonna change is I don't, in this moment, I do feel stumped and I don't really know what's gonna change because I feel quite stretched out with the toe hook where I don't have much room to gain momentum. And so I think about every time that maybe I don't use a toe hook and I kind of just like swing my leg just so I can stomp on the one that I did try to. But then the starting hold is completely turned the wrong way. There's no jibs on it. So that feels like it's not really, I don't know, working it, either. As soon as you kick the foot and land it, your bum comes out. You just well, I also your body. think one, there's multiple parts. I don't know if I'm doing the right beta. Two, I'm not committing fully because it feels weird. So there's part of me is like, okay, well, for me to say something doesn't work, I need to commit fully before that. Yeah, so if sure. I'm not committing fully, I don't know. So it's kind of like in two minds about it. Okay, well, let's have your second go and let's see. That bit looks good. <laughs> Come on, babe. That was sl ever so slightly better, even though kind of looked the same. I actually like slowed it down, which felt a little nicer. Did you bang so. your knee? Bang my knee, you know, we have a, <laughs> I wish that's what it was. But yeah, so um, I'm still not against what I'm trying because there's not 100% commitment there. She is again. Come on, third time's a charm. More like a 50th try from yesterday. Two days ago. So to me, it's really obvious that you're it's lifting, also your, hard you're lifting your right leg up really exaggeratedly. Yeah, because I'm going, I feel like I'm lifting the right leg up because this hold, also the one that you toe hook before, it's hard to like, for you to match your feet, you're going yeah, you to have to come around, around it. it. But also being shorter, I feel like I'm grabbing quite low. Different. I'm grabbing quite low on the volume that I'm trying to grab with my left hand. Oh my God. I told you, that's why I didn't do that. And there we go again. Come on. Oh, see, so he doesn't even need to. Surely you could do this, come on. Wow. No way. There's a hold underneath that I volume. <laughs> but I didn't I was like, I... don't link everything out. This is big versus small, apparently. Intro. 
Thanks, babe. I'll take it. I'll take these victories. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got both feet. Well, I touched, I touched that foot. But do it you, does feel such a far away that I'm getting so low on that one. Do you one. know what part comes next? The what? power spot. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Can you reach my hips from there? Yeah. You, Put me into the toe hook. Can you stomp too to there? Because I had to stand no, right no, on the I edge. Don't okay, ready? I've got you. Wait, I'm going to go down a little bit. Yeah. Do you see how like low my hand is? It's like, that part's the hard part for me. Is that is, that, I think that is what you have to do though. You have to go, I think this comes before this. And I think before, yeah, that's what I did do, the other you're going like this though. No, the last, yeah, it just feels weird. I'm gonna try again. Cause I'm acting as your cord. Any power or no power? No power. Well, let me grab this again. Bless you. Oh, oh, that, that was, was better. better. Ah, okay. Breather. I can do it now. So what have you done? I unlocked a little key component for me, I believe. Um, I just almost did the move. And on the starting hold, I was always going up a little higher, but now last go, I went lower on it and it gave me a little bit more momentum where I could come away from the wall so that I can go in to the foot. So let's see. It worked. Good job, babe. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Oh it. my goodness. I love it when a plank comes together. Two days on this red one. And How many probably realistically 30 ish? 20 to 50, somewhere in there. There you go. Don't give up. Nope. On to the next. Edit. Next one, we've got this. More like it's vertical. Line. I don't know what holds there. With Do you some... know what they are? They're really cool dual techs. I'll go closer. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm not up with my. Um, you guys will probably know what they are. Uh, you can let us know. Company, my whole company, all of them. We'll probably find be. out and then we can tag you or we'll tag them yes. in the uh, but description. I know they're not cheetah. That's Cheetah, and I know they're not Kilter. Or Squadra. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so I tried this one the other day. I didn't do it. Um, didn't give it that much effort, but yeah, I'm gonna try it and see what happens today. I feel like sometimes my shoulders get in the way. Is that a thing? They're an asset and a liability. <laughs> My hips are so far away from the wall that go. So the difficulty of this one is, one, if you've got really good ankle articulation, this is quite good, but immediately it's gonna drop your heel, yeah. it's gonna push your bum away from the wall. And this isn't great. And then this, I'll try and pan up, is super slopey, so you can't grab it and just lock off. Honestly, my ankle flexibility isn't is, great. it's not the worst. It's nowhere near the best. Um, it's like when I'm climbing 
with friends like Natalia. Oh my goodness, she is so good with her ankle flexibility. So is Colin Duffy. Brooke is quite good as well. Um, but yeah, I think typically you find people that have more muscular bodies, if they don't work on their flexibility more, you get a little tighter. Um, I definitely need to work on my flexibility and mobility more and ankle flexion is one of them. Yes. Wow, you just reached that. <laughs> Come on. It's a good hold. Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Am I still on? Yeah. Wow. I did it. First go today. No, I'm not go. also uh, typically great at mantles of pressing. And this, even though that wasn't like the hardest press or mantle. I'm still gonna take that victory. That was, uh, I'm happy about that. Okay, this one. Take the oh, slab. Uh, there's this white slab here. Um, I did do it the other day. I did not flash it. It took me, basically after I stuck the first move, I went to the top. We'll see if that's the case today, but it took me maybe like, there, you can see the little button starting hold. You have to do a little run and jump on two. I couldn't start it. Yeah, a bad left volume and not a great right foothold and get your hips into the wall. But, um, and the top was not easy by any means. There's no hold for me on the volume up there. Yeah. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. Let's again. do it. Session flash, maybe. Hmm. Nope. No session flash. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. My right foot's high. Just getting into it. You just added too much pressure by saying, oh, session flash. Oh, session flash. You shouldn't do that. Maybe third go. <laughs> no. I think maybe 10 or 15 tries. <laughs> okay, I like that. It. Less pressure. Oh my God. <sighs> I think my legs are tired from that last red run and jump. No. Whoa. My hips are not into the wall. I'm not on the feet very yeah, much. Huh? I said, don't wrap a fire. No, kids. I'm going to do what I do, please. No, I'm saying to the other people. Oh, this is, but for me, it's more like I get close to something. I think everyone has a different style, and for me, jumps. It's like a run and jumps or if it's coordination, it's better if I like try it quicker if I'm not that tired because then I get in that flow and I stop overthinking it because for me it's a fear. So yeah, it's good to tell people not to rapid fire, but sometimes it does actually help if it's in your head. So you have to go with how you feel. Oh my, oh god. my god. Oh my god. I don't know if I got that. <laughs> the double fire. <laughs> Come on. Thank God. Oh. Maybe I was right with the 10 tries. Yeah, <laughs> success. <laughs> it's hard. 
Thank you for watching this episode on me getting out of my comfort zone. I know we've done uh, episodes on working your weaknesses, but it's a never ending thing. Like always work on your weaknesses. And for me, this is like really fun um, getting stomped on climbs that might be easy graded for what I typically climb, but that's the beauty of it. Grades are subjective and I have a blast doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode and if you like it, you can support us by clicking like and subscribing.